Hello there, Sagittarius. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your general reading for May 2021. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit that bell twice so this way you get all of the notifications. And a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. You guys know the drill. We're going to start off with some oracle cards, then get into the tarot spread. Um, so we start at the beginning, the middle, and the end. I never say the end of the month anymore because even though I'm pulling May energy, guys, time is moving. Time is fluid, and there's plenty of different timelines out there, okay? So some of you already might have gone through this process. Others of you, it's happening like now. And some of you, it's going to happen a little bit down the road. I even have sometimes people go back to the playlist from last year, and that resonates more, okay? So really, it's use your intuition, okay? And I'm reading, it's a general reading. So I'm reading for lots of different people. So it's not possible for it to resonate with everyone, although that would be really cool. Um, and probably make me like, I don't know, like some kind of like amazing Oracle, but that's just not possible. <laughs> I mean, let's just, like, let's just get real here. Okay. Um, lots of different people here. So don't get hung up if it's not for you. It just means really it's not for you. It's that simple. Okay. There's plenty of readers out there and you know, our intuition sometimes doesn't hone into the right thing at all times. All right. So here we go let's get started sagittarius calling in our guides our ancestors and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for sagittarius for may what's going on with sagittarius for may what's going on for sagittarius second Oof. all right saggies well I'm gonna start with this one first because there's this really big desire of a reminder here for you my home is my castle okay this is how you feel when you're at home. This is how you want to feel at home. Like a princess, like a king, like a queen, right? You are pro I'm probably talking to a Sagittarius here who's a little bit of a homebody, all right? But in a way it's like I it's my place, it's my sanctuary, which it should be <laughs> for everybody. But it's a place where you can relax, feel comfortable in, feel happy in. This is what you want. You want to feel in a safe, happy, inviting environment for you, okay? Here's the situation. The other two cards did come out reversed. I feel this need of things not planning out the way you expected, okay? I keep hearing either playing house or time to create a house, like mean a level of like continue to dream or manifest, all right? But with three for Sleeping Beauty's dream, again, what's on our mind? A house, a happy home. This is reversed. I feel for many of you, you do not like where you live right now. Maybe it is a temporary situation, but it feels, this doesn't feel comfortable, okay? With happy family reversed, this is the 10 of cups, which is a happy, fulfilling relationship, love, connection. There's something about your environment that is not happy. I don't know if it's the environment that's making you unhappy or the people that are making you unhappy which could be family. So this does feel very family oriented. Okay. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be romance. All right. You could just be frustrated because you are in a, like a, I just feel for many who I'm, who I'm really connecting to or somebody who's in a temporary, a Sagittarius who's in a temporary position right now or temporary spot, which is not what their dream location is. It's like, ugh. I didn't, I didn't expect to be here this long. I didn't be, expect to be put in this position, but it's affecting a family dynamic. 
all right? And for those of you who are like, Tanya, I live alone, but I hate my place. I hate my apartment. I've been trying to move into a house or whatever. You can still apply to this. this is, it's still your family that's being affected by this, okay? I don't care if you got fur kids. I don't care if you call your mom, like, from down the road. You're not in tune with your. You're not your happiness because your, your place that makes you happy is not making you happy, right? Let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say. But it does feel like it's energy of needing to move. I just keep hearing time to move. Time to move. Anxiety. Anxious to move. Something's going on here. There's something going on here that's making you feel stuck. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. What additional messages, Spirit, do we have? Here we go. Oof. Here we go. Well, we're starting off with the Aries energy here of the Emperor. Aces of Pentacles is reverse. The Five of Wands is that conflict I was telling you about, was warning you about. Page of Cups reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Four of Wands reversed. I Guys, these are all shuffled, so these reversals are just coming out as they are. The Hangman. Interesting. The Eight of Cups the three of swords reverse the three of cups that's very important these two threes right next to each other the seven of cups with the page of wands overall energy oh my gosh you're in your head eight of swords could be dealing with an air sign here libra gemini aquarius but saggies oh my gosh um you just had enough. I feel like you you were so in your head, it's like, I've had enough. Some of you feel very cut off that you can't speak up, can't talk. You feel surrounded by rats, like people are waiting for you to do something so that they can feed off you. Put it that way, okay? Some of you are at a dead-end job, and it's affecting you not having your dreams for having enough money. Or if it's not a dead-end job, you feel like a rat because you're overworked, okay? It is not your dream job. You did not expect to wait here. But the issue is, is if you got all these things waiting for you, a vulture, a rat, the whole shebang waiting for you. Now, this chick, she could take the blindfold off and just get the hell out of there, but you're stuck in your head about this, okay? We start off here with the Aries energy of the emperor. The emperor gets things done. The emperor is in charge and takes actions. Now, here's the thing. This could be some of your energy. Because, you know, with a, with a mountain goat, they climb up the impossible to get where they have to be. Right? Have you ever seen mountain goats when they climb those rocks and you're like, holy hell, I don't even can't believe Like, they're not scared of heights or anything. They just do their thing. Like, it's part of what they do. Right? Ace of Pentacles is reversed not having enough stability to move forward feeling like you're constantly going up a freaking mountain that's getting you nowhere and as you go up that mountain you got the five of wands five of wands is conflict competition could be dealing with some people at work could be dealing with people who are competing, who are trying to get one up on you. Um, you know, for those of you who are hurting for hours or overworked anyway, but then someone, you know, go ahead and takes your hour. It's just like, there's a, it feels very, like there's a lot of, it feels very much so that, Sagis, there's some competition for hours I'm hearing. Okay? It's like throw it at the wolves kind of thing. Like who's going to get those hours, right? It's like a rat, I keep hearing rat race. Others of you, because you are working so hard, it is affecting your family life big time, okay? So for those of you who are not home, there's things going on in the family life that is not making you feel very good, okay? The Page of Cups is usually an offer 
that is something somewhat fulfilling. Water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but the Page of Cups is reversed. So you're not even feeling emotionally fulfilled right now, okay? I feel that so many people, and <laughs> they're really showing me, you see how there's a goldfish? This, this elf lady's looking at a goldfish that's coming out of there, which is, you know, the fish in the cup. Dissatisfied with the fish in the cup. I never liked the Page of Cups because who wants an offer with a fish in it? I don't know. But here's the thing. It's like you're not even getting the smallest happiness of the situation, okay? If you are working a lot and wanting to come home, it's feeling like your home environment is not even something that you want to be in right now. Now, here's what's interesting. Underneath the Emperor, we have the Five of Pentacles, which is more towards the middle of the month or middle energy here. The Five of Pentacles is being out in the cold. There's a loss. But this is reversed. Next to the Four of Wands which is reversed. This is usually a celebration coming together, a unity, okay? There's a reason why they want me to use the Grim Tale cards because th there's a lot of symbolism in these cards, all right? Do you see the troll underneath the bridge? You know the story of the troll, right? You gotta pay dues kind of thing. I feel for many of you, you feel used. You're tired of paying the troll Okay. It's like, when is it my turn? I, I feel like I'm not, I'm going uphill and I'm never getting anything. Okay. Because it is reversed. So it's getting out of the energy of the loss, the middle. Okay. But I feel that, you know, you need to move away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay. This energy of the hangman, There is something changing about you. It's like the phase of kind of like, I feel almost like a metamorphosis, kind of like this bat here. Like there's something that you are, this is like needing a day. Some of you might even be taking a day off, like a rest day, meaning like I need to get out. I need to isolate myself, um, take the day off and rest kind of thing, okay? This could be calling out sick when, you know, like a mental health day. Um, others of you, it's like getting away to have a mental health day. I don't feel like it's the home. It's weird. It's like, I don't feel the home energy. You don't feel happy in the home environment. Whatever is affecting your home environment, whether it is work or the home itself, you want to be somewhere completely different. This isn't emotionally fulfilling for you anymore here. Okay. There's a lot of emotions about this. And with a snake here, I feel like the snake is a symbolism of transformation, but it feels to me, Sagis, you have, are, are kind of like shedding your skin. Okay. There's a chance for something new here. And you're seeing that the emotional fulfillment that you have is like only you are in charge of your feelings. Okay. But you are definitely leaving something behind that is not emotionally fulfilling to you anymore. Because whatever it was did bring you heartbreak. Notice the spider here. Spider is important too, because that's also about transformation. This was reversed. So I feel for many of you, by the middle of letting something go, some of you, this is past beliefs, okay? If you were stuck in a rut and not happy with what's going on or not happy in your family life or even like a lack of something, like a lack of a relationship, reading for so many people guys so I'm getting a couple different messages so I know I'm changing the story a little bit but if you are feeling a lack of a relationship because you got burnt down the road from other relationships and it's like living the monotonous life this is this is you mending that this is you going out of your comfort zone and I feel for many of you you're realizing even if it's family that you're with and you're not happy with you need to change something about you not the other people around you about you how you feel Right? Allow yourself to have that expression of 
the loss, the heartache, so that you can push forward, okay? You can change your whole day by having a different perception of something, right? Not everything is going to be permanent. It's kind of that temporary energy. So I'm feeling for a lot of you, this is the need to let go of something that emotionally does not serve you anymore, which could just be a belief which could be just the anger, the sadness, that things didn't work out the way you are doing it, but it's not going to change your beliefs of what you want and your desire. It's waking you up again to say, okay, the home is my castle. How do I make it my castle? What do I have to do to make it my castle? You're not just going, what was me anymore? Now it's like, what can I go to outside of my comfort zone to make it my castle? You are finally letting go of some of you. Some of you will be letting go of an individual. A person that no longer serves you and this could be work related or it could be a relationship that's just not working in your environment with the three of cups next to the three of swords this is about celebration something to look forward to going out with friends being with your soul tribe, the people who light you up, who are like-minded. Notice that there's three cats. But these people that you surround you are changing your vibration to showing you what you can have and what you can desire. Now, this could be just one person, but it feels this level of needing to relax a little more, Saggies, get out, have fun. That's how you're going to mend this broken heart because it was broken. And I feel like it's been broken quite many times because with the Five of Pentacles reverse, I feel like it's an ongoing cycle of being heartbroken after over and over again. Because with the Three of Cups, because you let go with that Eight of Cups energy and then we're going to Three of Cups, we go then to the Seven of Cups. So you kind of take a step backwards of going, look at all these options I have. Look what's actually out there in Horizon. Many of you are gonna have a lot of new options. Okay, maybe it's like putting, finally putting that resume out. Maybe you had to go out with your friends and you're like, you know what, I'm done with this dead end job. Or you know what, I'm gonna do something different, I'm gonna invest this time. I'm gonna take my nest egg and I'm gonna invest in something else. I'm gonna get excited about that. Others of you, it's like, you know what, I'm gonna leave that person. I'm gonna see what else other, other things are out there. This is not fulfilling me anymore. Whatever it is, you take some kind of action. And it's new. You're on a new journey because the page of wands is you moving, moving, taking charge. You're, you're ready for this adventure, but it's brand spanking new. It's brand spanking new. Some of you, it's a new relationship or being out there or putting yourself out there. Others of you, like I said, it's putting yourself out there for a new job. For those of you who are in a tight relationship and it's like, you know, it, it was just the house and stuff, you're now making moves to like, okay, what can we do as a family unit? Let's come together. What can we do to get rid of this so we can get it started? Let's see what the outcome cards are. I mean, this is a really good reading for you guys, even though it seems a little bit, a little bit shaky in the beginning. Let's see what the vice versa outcome cards are though. I do not do reversals in the vice versa deck because there's two sides to this deck. Here we go. Ah, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, <laughs> the Eight of Cups, not surprised by that, and the Three of Wands. Here you go. You know what you want. You're clearly going to state it. What you want, what you deserve, what you desire. Here's the difference between the Eight of Cups here that you walk away from emotionally there. Your wish is being granted, okay? Look at this. You're not walk. I mean, it's a walking away thing, but it's like you're looking at the mo what emotionally fulfills you, but having an open heart about what's to come. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow night, but there is stability coming your way that is going to be extremely profitable. Probably get that dream house that you wanted or to move. All right. But here's the difference. The stability that you have by letting something go is actually creating a foundation for you to happiness because you're looking towards the sun, okay? 
So I feel that if this is not you, you might have someone coming in who's going to offer you, whether it's a new position or someone who has stability here, who follows you, it has the same desires as you, okay? For some of you, this is a person. It could be an earth sign here that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagis, but this is something to look forward to. This is, even though that your ships haven't come in, it's being patient about it, okay? now. Everyone's like, oh, but that's the waiting card. I feel that your opportunity to look for something, your perception has changed. You're not like, oh my God, woe is me, right? Because this energy in the beginning, this is like, my dreams are never gonna come true. I'm never gonna get this. It's just, you know, I want that, I want the happy environment, but I'm not getting it, right? You, you've changed. You've woken up to something. Let's see what healing card we have for Sagittarius this month. What healing card do we have? You kidding me? New beginnings. New beginnings. Brand spanking new, okay? It's going to evolve and be emotional fulfillment here, okay? Ascension, big way. But do you see how the water is flowing and it's going right back into that, that lake or whatever it is? This is about growth. Some of you, this is a new relationship. Others of you, it's a new job. Some of you, it's just a new perception in life of how you feel. But this is part of the ascension process. And it's a really positive, this is, this is actually a really positive reading. I don't like to sugarcoat shit. You are gonna go through some hurdles here, but it's because you need to release your emotions. You do, you just need to release it. So this is allowing yourself to release something that is emotionally not fulfilling you and being honest with yourself. And some of you are gonna have to be brutally honest with another person because it feels almost like, I keep hearing for some of you, house is over. I don't wanna play house anymore. All right guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, just a reminder that if you wanna book a private reading, um, I have Harmonite sessions. They're not quite just readings. I am a, um, a psychic medium, so I do have mediumship, but they're our one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. And also I'm a life coach, so it's more about empowering you with the messages that I receive. You probably will have homework, but it's more of a intimate one-on-one -on -one kind of, um, um, session versus just a reading. I did not feel guided anymore to do the 15 or 20 minute readings. Every once in a while I will have specials out there for them, but this is what's more aligned to me. I wanna really make sure you guys are in stock of your life. And also, if you're interested in learning tarot, for the first time I am having a tarot workshop that starts in June. Class sign up is limited, but it is all on my website, harmoniafriends.com. All that information is in my description box. Uh, classes begin in June. And um, they're, like I said, it's a small class, and so there's going to be a wait list as well for the next uh, course that comes up. All right, I will see you next time. Take care, Sagis.